Hey everyone, Numidia here. By the time of releasing this video, we're only 9 days away from BlizzCon, where we will hopefully get our first official word on classic TBC. But TBC is yet to be released, and the last 2 years have been filled with lessons for both the community and the developers of the game. Some things that we thought would be great turned out not so good, and things that we did not expect to be good turned out amazing. Today I figured we would rewind to see what classic TBC can learn from Classic WoW's past mistakes and achievements, and make sure to not only avoid making the same mistakes, but double down on the things that were successful for the next two years. In this video, we will talk about the good and the bad of Classic WoW and see how we can take the best of both worlds going forward and make sure to have the best experience we can have for the next few years for Classic. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with the positives first. We tend to forget them, but there was a lot. First, and probably most obvious, Classic WoW for the most part was an overwhelming success. How many new MMOs have you seen coming out in the last decade claiming to be the next WoW killer? It's funny to see how the only thing that can kill WoW is WoW itself. With Classic WoW reportedly overtaking retail World of Warcraft's population on multiple occasions. The point here is that Classic is a product that brought an overwhelming amount of success and revenue to Blizzard, which I'm sure they themselves we're not expecting. And that means that Classic needs to stay supported and resources need to be put in it for the foreseeable future. And that obviously means Classic TBC, but also launch fresh Classic Vanilla servers eventually, Classic Wrath in the future, and then fresh Classic TBC servers by then, and so on. The point is Classic in general, be it Vanilla or TBC, needs to stay supported as much as it has been in the last two years. And some might argue even more. More resources need to be put fixed fixing the bugs and dealing with the bots, which I will touch upon later in this video, and bringing needed changes if they need to be brought. Next is the content schedule. For the most part, Classic WoW's content schedule has been pretty good. Obviously, we had the odd Naxxrama situation overlapping Shadowlands launch, which was a big deal for a lot of people, me included. But the thing is, we need to remember that the schedule for Classic WoW was going to be completely horrible at launch. When game director of World of Warcraft, Ian Hazikostas, went on stage at BlizzCon 2018, the plan was to bring only four phases of content, with some phases containing two raids at once. It was obvious that this plan was not going to feel enjoyable, as it meant players would have too much content to do at once, and then, once they were done, they would have nothing to do for a very long time until the next phase started. But thankfully, the community spoke up, and Blizzard listened to the feedback, giving two more content phases, and then adding mini phases midway through the game. That new content plan felt pretty good for the most part, and it followed the original classic schedule almost perfectly. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because classic TBC needs to have a similar thing happening to it, but also not. Let me explain. I brought this up multiple times in previous videos, but originally Burning Crusade released with way too much content at once. Back then it wasn't really a big deal because the content was unclearable for the most part because of bugs. Also because players simply didn't know how to do most of that content. But if Classic TBC releases the exact same way, with Tier 4, Tier 5 and Mount Hyjal available at launch, and easily clearable thanks to players having access to more information and content not being bugged, players will mull through the content in the matter of weeks, and they will have nothing to do until Black Temple releases. And then, once that releases, there's going to be another content lull. Sunwell will drop, and then people will be done. Blizzard needs to split the Tier 4, Tier 5, Tier 6, and Tier 6.5 content into their own phases. Otherwise, the game will be met with a massive-scale Chinese Burning Crusade server situation, where the game released with all the content up until Tier 6 available at launch, and guilds cleared it in the matter of weeks. And finally, one of the most positive things that happened for Classic was changes. But not straight up game altering changes, I'm talking changes that made sense. One very small example that probably saved players thousands of hours collectively is the Blackwing Lair Attunement mob in Blackrock Mountain.
mountains. If this mob was kept to its original state, untouched, BWL would have dropped and players would be swarming this mob, one group after the other, and it would have taken the average player multiple days before they could even set foot inside Blackwing Lair. Blizzard saw the absolute mess that that could have brought and decided to release a blue post out of nowhere a whole month before BWL was going to release, saying that the mob will now drop the required item to get a tune for Blackwing Lair and his respawn time was significantly reduced. That's just one small example, but there's been multiple changes throughout Classic that made the game slightly better every time without completely changing the feel and authenticity of the game. So, we talked about the positives, now let's talk about the negatives. What can Classic TBC and the Classic product in general learn going forward from the past two years mistakes? Probably the most important thing is that quote unquote no changes is bad for the game. And to be fair, we are guilty for this, the community and the content creators. Since Classic WoW was announced on stage at BlizzCon 2017, our slogan has always been no changes, to the detriment of the game sometimes. And Blizzard was totally on board for that. But as the game released and as time went, we learned that no changes is not something that's healthy for the game. You can indeed bring changes to the game without altering how authentic it feels, and at the same time, make it ever so slightly better. Classic TBC cannot operate under the strict no changes philosophy. Otherwise, as mentioned earlier, the game would release with a plethora of problems. Next up is the fact that players will always choose the path of least resistance, to their detriment sometimes, and min-max the fun out of the game. This is just the mentality of modern players accomplish as much as possible in as little time as possible. The most obvious way this manifested itself is the world buffs, where you spend hours logged off to save an hour of two of raiding and a couple hundred golds of consumables per week. And Classic TBC is not short of min-maxi aspects that will definitely drive the fun out of the game for many players. Check my video about concerns that we have for TBC for example. Players need to be saved from themselves here. Another problem Classic WoW had is how horrendous botting and gold selling has gotten to. Go to any high population server now and type slash who rogue blackrock depths. The overwhelming majority of these rogues you see are bots that are operating without much happening to them, until they farm enough gold that they sell to regular players who are willing to buy it from them, in exchange for some hours saved farming gold legitimately. Raw gold farms are a godsend for bots, since they don't have to rely on the auction house and the economy as a whole to make gold. They can just generate as much gold as they need and then sell it. And the scary part about this is that Classic TBC has something called Prot Paladins. And Prot Paladins can generate tons of raw gold. And it won't be long until you see places like Blackrock Depths going from looking like this to this. Blizzard needs to do something about this, even if it takes teleporting to each and every ungilded player inside the five-man dungeons across every server. It has to be done or the economy will be ruined in no time. And finally, servers quantity and population. It's no secret that Blizzard completely messed up when it comes to server quantity at the start of Classic. When the name reservations opened, we had six English servers in EU. Six two of which were PvP servers. Blizzard underestimated the success of Classic big times here, and quickly started releasing tons of new servers to accommodate for the population. But when you're someone who made a character and already has got it to level 20 and already joined a guild, it will take way more than a free server transfer to convince you to change to a less populated server. Players would sit through hours of queues and not click the free server transfer button, which made many servers get even more busy and many other servers even more dead. In TBC, PvP servers will be a nightmare to play on, especially at launch, meaning that many players will choose to go for PvE servers. The thing is that PvE servers are already getting quite crowded, even right now. Many of those PvE servers were far below on the population list at the start of Classic, 
and are now amongst the most populated servers in the world. And this trend will definitely continue in TBC. But here's the thing, there isn't enough PvE servers. I could be wrong here, and let me know what you think about this in the comments. But in my opinion, Blizzard needs to release a few new PvE servers and even new PvP servers for TBC. Many players have not been interested in playing vanilla for the past two years and have been waiting for TBC to release. Offering them a fresh new server will solve a lot of problems in the long run. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the things mentioned in this video in the comments, whether you agree or disagree with them. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be more classic TBC content coming in the future. I will also be doing more tutorial and guide videos as soon as TBC is announced, and even more if I hopefully get in the beta. With that said, whatever you do, remember to have fun, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Bye for now.